Ogle out in Campers. It's the 21st of May. It's 1307. Um, I was going to say Tudor had a rough night last night, but um, I'm not quite sure what happened, really. Um, I took my diabetes tablets. I had a well, bad one the other night where it went over 22. I took my diabetes tablets um, lunchtime. No, no, sorry, tea time. And I fell asleep in a chair. Well, nap, you know. And then at about nine o'clock, just before whatever, I can't remember what time was I woke up. No, yeah, before that was tea time. And I think what I'd done is, because of the ones I missed, I took a double lot. Well, anyway, I felt all right till about nine. And felt really, really sleepy, so I went to bed. And I don't know what time I went to sleep, but I went to sleep with telly on. I obviously woke up and switched the telly off, unless, but I think it was left on for about four or five hours, I switched itself off anyway. Um, and then the next thing I knew, I don't know if I was dreaming or what, but I couldn't open my eyes. And, um, yeah, I can't really remember. I, I couldn't sort of be eyes, but I was always dreaming. And I was trying to wake up and I couldn't anyway. So the next thing I knew, I was absolutely breaking my neck for a, for a piss. And I woke up and it was quarter past nine. No, it wasn't. It was quarter past eight. And, um, I think anyway. I'm just making myself a cup of tea. Yeah, quarter, well, mash, mash it anyway, let it mash. Yeah, about then. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up and it was just after, well, I think it was just after 10, just after 10 I woke up. And thought, oh, you've got to get up, you've got to get up, you've got to get up. So I sat up, opened my hatch, my roof hatch, you know, me blind. And the light was coming in and I thought, oh, I don't know what time it is now. It's got to be fucking... It's got to be time to get up. It's got to be sort of seven o'clock, so that. And looked at the fucking clock, and it was fucking quarter eleven. So I grabbed myself out of bed, thought I'd shake me feathers, so I had a shower. Tidied myself up. And um, done me bloods. My bloods was down at the sixth summit. But whether they went low overnight or what, or I don't know. Or whether it's anything to do with my bloods at all, or whether I was just tired, I haven't got a clue. But I feel fine, you know. I don't, I don't so I'm, I'm no thing. But I don't know whether those um, diabetes tablets I take, if I took like two, two lots of them within two hours, I meant to be taking them twelve hours apart. Whether that made any difference. But anyway, whatever it is, I've shook it off now, and I'm fine. So, um, yeah. I still have all you would-be doctors telling me what was wrong, would I? <laughs> no, no, I'm always, I'm always glad, glad that people take to take the they, bear, 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 to take do take. Fuck me, I can't even talk. The people take the time to actually answer. It's very, very nice of you. Um. Yeah, I was watching a. Uh, some bits and pieces on the telly yesterday afternoon. It didn't make a lot of bloody sense, really. I think I sort of flick it from channel to channel. I haven't done nothing, but I just noticed now they got this on about Princess Di when she was in, interviewed in 1995. And so what would that be, 26 years ago? And now they're saying that, that Martin Bashir, whatever his name is, he was a lawyer and somebody else got chucked out of a... Um, I don't know, so watch it, you watch it yourself, because it's on this, it's on her, actually her funeral bit now. Um, oh, it's BBC News. You know, so, um, this has happened 26 years ago. So that's fucking news, isn't it? Sure. You know, that's what you make laugh, don't you? You get these big institutions and what have you, and they go, no, 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 it wasn't us. No, no, that couldn't have happened. No, definitely not. And then they got and banged the royce. They go, no, it was him, it was him, it was him, and it was him. They're fucking wankers, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They do make you laugh, don't they? 
and then fucking Prince Harry come on and said that Meghan was thinking about committing suicide when she was pregnant, but she didn't because she thought, oh, I can't commit suicide because I can't have my husband losing two women in his life. What a crock of shit that is, isn't it? Fucking drama, Queens. Fuck me. That Meghan Mark will get much more of a fucking drama queen. She'll have to go and live in fucking Sheffield with the rest of them. Um, anyway, that's by the boy. So, um, not much more to say, really. Uh, yeah, I got um, sort of in touch with that socks and sandals through John somebody. And I think I'm putting his solar panel on. You know? But do you make me laugh some of these people they put up fucking things that they do? And I wouldn't want people to know I done it like that. You know. You know? I mean, do you ever go on that um that John Berger, watch him? Now what a clever bloke he is. I mean he does things that's really, really good. He's really good. You know what I mean? The way he sort of Well, it's just his attitude to work. He's just a clever bloke, isn't he? And his way he does things, you know. In that YouTube, you know. Yeah, I'd, I'd follow him. I reckon he's good because of the things he does and how he um, how he masters all the different, you know, how he, how he well, just how he does things, you know, just does it properly, doesn't he? You know. Uh, well, they're all helpful. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. They're all very, very helpful if you ain't got a clue. You know, but it's like... When I took my butchery apprenticeship and then went on to become a master butcher, well, you take your... I was showed how to do it properly, not how to do it that I do. You know, oh, that'd be all right. I'd be done fucking properly. All the meat I'd be cut properly. I mean, if it was, you know, if it wasn't done properly, I'd have fucking bollocking. You know? I mean, my first job in life is well, I worked in a, in a glove factory in um, Westbury. I was going to become a glove cutter, and basically, I think I was given the job because my mum had a job there. I mean, that was fucking nineteen hundred and frozen to death. I mean, I was on three pound, three pound sixteen and eight a week. Yeah, that was the days. My three pound sixteen and eight a week. Our gran brought me up. Always lived, with, always lived with our gran and granddad. Well, our granddad more because our granddad died when I was fifteen. But um, yeah, in you speak, you earn three pounds sixteen eight a week, which is about three seventy five or something like that. You know, I used to have to take my wage packet home. We used to get these brown wage packets. A lot of you can remember, but a lot of you youngest won't know. Used to get these brown wage packets with a cut with like the, the sticky bit that went over. The corner was missing, so the money could come out, and you could count the money, but you couldn't get at it in case it was wrong. But then. You could shake it, and there was the coinage inside. So, yeah, I used to have to take this over to my man. And he said, oh, Welsh tradition. Well, well the first wage pack I come home is, um, she was uh, there in a white pinafore, a white apron. Apparently, that's it's a Welsh thing. I don't know. Anyway, I used to have to go in, and we used to go in, and I used to sit one side of the table, and she sat the other side of the table, and I used to give her, I have to give her my wage packet. And um, out of my wage packet, she'd take 30 bob, which was £1.50. That was my keep. And she'd give me 30 bob, which is like, say, £1.50. That was my... It would be Friday, Friday evening. And then Monday morning, I'd have 17 shillings and 8 pence. Which, no, 17 shillings and 6 pence, which is about 75 pence. In a bag. Well, it was, it was actually in the wage thing, folded into four. In my lunchbox, I'm going to work, so I always have money for the week. But that was the times when I think <clears throat> I'm pretty sure twenty number six cigarettes were twenty pence, two bob. Or was that ten pence, four bob? I can't fucking remember. I know when I have, I know when I had my shop. It was it was one pound. One pound seventeen in sixpence. One no, one pound seventeen in, in tuppence for two hundred cigarettes, and they used to sell it twenty. 
yeah, yeah, it must be 20, 20 pence, 20 pence for 20. Yeah, so that's 20 pence, what's 20 pence? That's four bob, isn't it? Four cigarettes, yeah, 20 pence for 20. Yeah. Yeah, that little shop I used to work there, that's where, that's where I met. She must be a babe. She used to come in for school buying sweets off me. Yeah, she would have been in her late 15, coming up to 16. And um, I was, I can't remember if I was 18 or 19. I had the shop. Yeah, she, um, yeah, because she's 60. I don't know what she's 66 or 60 fucking seven. I'm 71. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm four years older than I think. I don't know, anyway. That's by the by, so I'm just rambling. So I'll let you get on. Anyway, yeah, I'm all right. I've had a couple of people private message me, you know, message me, and, you know, I'm, I'm all right, why haven't I been on? But I'm absolutely fine. I got up, I was a bit groggy when I first got up. We was sort of dozing about and that. But um, I've had a cup of tea and something to eat, and I'm absolutely fine. So thank you very much. Stay classy. Love you all. Bye-bye. And you skins. Oh.